It was December 8, 9.14 p.m. in India and Mistral just released a new model. It's not a model that they released during a dev day, it's just a simple tweet. The tweet had a magnet link. I'm not sure how many of the kids these days know magnet link, but this is the oldest way of sharing any file on an internet. This is torrent. So people started immediately downloading the torrent or at least use their torrent file browser and then realized this is not a new Mistral model like a 13 billion parameter model or a 70 billion parameter model. Rather, this is a new architecture of model from Mistral. This is a Mistral 7 billion parameter MOE mixture of experts with eight of the 7 billion parameter model. And since that, everybody has been exploring MOE, mixture of experts with Mistral 7 billion parameter model. Before we move forward, let's take a very, very quick look at what is MOE, which stands for mixture of experts, which is being speculated as one of the secret sources of GPT-4 implementation. Mixture of experts is a neural network architecture that integrates layers of experts within transformer block. So if you see this, this is a typical transformer block and in this transformer block, it actually replaces that internal layer with these experts. And uh, the way these experts happen is the tokens are dynamically routed to the subset of experts. So what is the routing here? So when you have a token like this, the quick brown fox jumped over, the router actually makes sure which token should go to which expert. And that way it routes it to the best expert. And that way you have uh, scalability, you have uh, parallel computing and all these kind of things to run a really big capability model, but across multiple devices or multiple GPUs with different experts doing different job. And like I said, this is being considered to be one of the ways GPT-4 is excellent at its job. But Mistral AI has released this new model, which people are still figuring out how to run because Mistral AI did not release any inference code. But we have got already implementations like this one on replicate.com where you can go ahead and then test the model. This could be completely better at reasoning than what the benchmark suggests and one such example is this and you can see that the model seems to have better ability at responding and if you purely talk about benchmarks Mistral MOE is almost equivalent to the GPT-5 or Gemini 3 Pro, Gemini Pro. So it's al almost in the ballpark of Llama 2, 70 billion parameter model, GPT-3.5, Gemini Pro model. So on MMLU, the, the benchmark that Google just flexed their muscle on, this, this model, this model is scored 0.7173, which is not definitely the best, but Gemini Pro is 0.718. So this is almost on the ballpark of that. GSM 8K, which evaluates the model's mathematical capability, it has scored 0.57. And then there are other benchmarks like Hella Swag, Truthful QA. You can see how the model has scored. So this model at this point, the raw model has not like done anything amazing on the score. But what we have seen time and time again with Mistral is, Mistral base model itself is good, but what makes it much better is the open license and the community's ability to fine tune the model. And you can fine tune this model with mega blocks. And also we have got a new repository, which is from Disco Search that actually lets you run this model with Hugging Face implementation. So the community is working really hard to make it easier for everybody to get their hands on this model and also try this model and also fine tune model. So probably in the next couple of weeks, we might have a really, really good model that can run uh, the Mistral 7 billion uh, MOE. The only catch is that right now you need a huge hardware like this replicate example runs on four A100 with 80 GB GPU hardware and it typically takes 54 seconds for a response. So this at this point requires a huge hardware, but we have seen uh, certain demonstrations where people have been expecting to release a quantized model that can probably run across a lot of hardwares with lesser memory. In short, mixture of experts can help you in faster inference as a fixed number of experts are activated per token. There is going to be high VRAM usage. That means you need like heavy, heavy machines because all the experts need to be loaded unlike a smaller model. It works well when you run them on many machines and it may not be good for local inference. That is where we can expect some quantization could help, but I don't still think that it might be really as simple as you know running it on like a 4GB, 8GB RAM machine. So let's see what happens in the future.